Appalachia America, an insider's look. Welcome to Cumberland, Ohio. My hometown Cumberland is located in the rolling hills of Appalachia America. The first settlers and landowners in the town of Cumberland were my ancestors, Thomas Bay and his wife, Anne Blackburn, in 1808. From then, Cumberland grew into a small agricultural community and truly blossomed into a thriving town with the arrival of the railroads, Cincinnati, Wheeling, and New York in 1874, and the BZ&C in 1882, lovingly called the Muzzy and the Bent Zigzagging Crooked Lines, respectively. As the energy demand in America grew, so did the demand for coal. In the early 1900s, a coal mining company began excavation in Cumberland. These excavations removed millions of tons of coal and provided income and industry to Cumberland. This was a time of prosperity, but it was not to last. The coal in this area is buried more than 100 feet deep, which meant that a massive amount of land had to be disturbed. Furthermore, the coal in the area is high sulfur. The demand for lower sulfur, cleaner burning coal increased and the value of the coal in Cumberland decreased. The mine downsized and eventually closed. When the mine left, several other businesses soon followed. The gas stations went out of business. The bank, post office, and library, which were housed in the same building closed, which was hard on my grandmother who had worked in the bank. The machine shop closed. The dry goods store closed. The lumber mill office and the lumber mill itself, which was across the street, both closed. The three car dealerships in Cumberland closed. The elementary school, which was on a hill but consolidated with the high school, closed until the high school also eventually closed. Students from Cumberland are now bused nearly 14 miles to attend primary school. There have been several hotels and motels which are no longer serving that same purpose. The old town hall closed, which had entertainment. The ice cream parlors closed. The barber shop, which also had a restaurant and is now a house. The second barber shop, which is now abandoned, closed. And the last place where someone in Cumberland could buy food just closed in 2016. The nearest grocery store is now nine miles away. To recap, there is nowhere in Cumberland to get gas, buy food, get a haircut, catch a check, or buy clothing. The few remaining establishments in Cumberland include a Methodist church, a Presbyterian church, two auto mechanics, a miniature storage business, and two insurance agencies. When the mines closed, they were required to reclaim the stripped land by replacing the soil, which they did, but this land no longer holds water properly and structures cannot be built on these lands because the ground is continuing to settle and is not stable. The coal mine moved out and Cumberland has suffered a continuous decline since. Now the industry of Cumberland is drugs. The volunteer EMS has been called several times for drug overdoses and a trailer even exploded that was later found to be a meth lab. Cumberland is a town that has been caught in a long and wearisome tango with issues of power, science, and justice. The future of Cumberland is uncertain for both the town and the citizens. Cumberland needs industry. I am asking my peers, the public, the government, and anyone who will listen to remember the struggles of rural America. We have not given up, but there is much work to be done.